Good morning all and welcome to morning prayer. This is Wednesday, the fourth week in Lent, and I'm glad you're joining with me today. Our morning prayer is on page 326 of our festive time prayer books. Let us join together. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, you hate nothing you have created, and you forgive the sins of all who repent. Create making us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our failings, may receive from you the source of all mercy, perfect remission, and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Giver of the perfect gift, only hope of human race, hear the prayer our hearts uplift, trembling at thy throne of grace. Through the accusing voice within, speaks of many a wrong to thee. Thou canst cleanse from every sin. Thou canst set the conscience free. Who can save us, Lord, but thou? Let thy mercy show thy power. Lo, we plead thy promise now, now in this accepted hour. O oh, may these our Lenten days, blessed by thee, with thee be passed, that with pure, nobler praise, we may keep thy feast at last. God, the Holy Trinity, grant the mercy we implore. God, the one, all praise to thee through the ages evermore. A reading today from Psalm 22. I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters. I will praise you among your assembled people. Praise the Lord, all you who fear him. Honor him, all you descendants of Jacob. Show him reverence, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not ignored or belittled the suffering of the needy. He has not turned his back on them, but has listened to their cries for help. I will praise you in the great assembly. I will fulfill my vows in the presence of those who worship you. The poor will eat and be satisfied. All who seek the Lord will praise him. Their hearts will rejoice with everlasting joy. The whole earth will acknowledge the Lord and return to him. All the families of the nations will bow down before him. For loyal power belongs to the Lord. He rules all the nations. Let the rich of the earth feast and worship. Bow before him, all you mortal. All those whose lives will end in dust. Our children will also serve him. Further generations will hear about the wonders of the Lord. His righteous acts will be told to those not yet born. They will hear about everything he has done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today's reading is taken from Deuteronomy. You are a holy people who belong to the Lord your God. Of all the peoples on the earth, the Lord your God has chosen you to be his own special treasure. The Lord did not send his heart on you and choose you because you were more numerous than the nations, for you are the smallest of all nations. Rather, it was simply that the Lord loves you and he was keeping the oath he had sworn to your ancestors. That is why the Lord rescued you with such a strong hand from your slavery and from the oppressive hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand, therefore, that the Lord your God is indeed God. He is the faithful God who keeps his covenant for a thousand generations and lavishes his unfailing love on those who, who love him and obey his commands. Psalm 
Seek the Lord while he may be found, call on him while he is still near. Let the wicked abandon their ways, and the evil ones their thoughts. Let them turn to Yahweh, that he may have mercy on them, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says Yahweh, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow fall down from the heavens, and stay on the ground to water the earth, causing the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry, so it is with my word I send it out, and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. For the world, may it be renewed and united to, in answer to your call. For the church, may peace and reconciliation abound, that all Christians may see themselves as members of one body. For your people, may we become a holy nation, a royal priesthood, serving one another in love. For our work today, may it serve our neighbor and be pleasing to you. For all who have died, may they find peace in your kingdom forever and ever. And Father, we pray for reconciliation of families, reconciliation of friendships. I pray for the men last night at MSDF that came to Bible study. Thank you, Lord, for their input, for their thoughts, for their faithfulness. May they grow in your grace, O Lord, while they spend their time away in the prison. We pray for all the inmates, O Lord. Touch their hearts and bless them. Encourage them, Lord. We pray for those suffering with mental illness. O Lord, they go through so much. So much happens to them beyond their control. We pray for those that want to help. Those that seek to serve others. We pray for the girls on the streets. Watch over them and keep them safe, O Lord. And protect the homeless from danger and difficulties. O Lord God, may we do our part to reach out to those in need, to help those that are suffering, not looking for anything in return, but only to serve you. Thank you for hearing our prayer today, Lord. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, your tortured son felt abandoned and cried out in anguish from the cross. Yet you delivered him. He overcame the bonds of death and rose in triumph from the grave. Do not hide your face from those who cry out to you. Feed the hungry, strengthen the weak, and break the chains of the oppressed, that your people may rejoice in your saving deeds. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, thank you for joining with me today in prayer. I pray that the Lord blesses you this day and hears all the prayers that you raise up to him. Pray for me, I pray for you, and may God grant us his peace today. Amen.